So yesterday, you saw the video I've just put up today, which was about all the updates. Update, update, updates. Anyway, I took out the two main drones, and that was the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3 uh, for their test flights. And I, if you watched the video, um, they were all fine. Now, this morning, when I come to check all the comments, Steve, he's a top man. I'll just put it up here now. He was telling me that this drone here was doing over 80, over 80 miles per hour. Now, I'll be honest, that day, it wasn't the best of days. It was pretty cloudy, but there was hardly any wind. So I can't say it was windy. Now, I think the speed for the Air 3 off me head, I think it's like 40 or something like that, 45 maybe on top speed. Um, but not... I recorded it 85 miles per hour this was going out to sea. <laughs> but when you look at the video, it ain't doing 85 miles per hour. But interesting, I'm just going to put up the, the video clip now. So looks like, and I did it for my DJI RCN2. So I would imagine the, um, the controller that I'd done for the RC2, which was the, for the Mini 4 Pro, um, my Mini 4 Pro is doing about 24 miles per hour, which is the average speed, I believe. As always, it could be just me. It could be just me. Um, most people would say, Sean, you always going to get all these problems. But it'd be interesting to see is a, uh, a slight error by DJI. Um, because obviously when they do these updates, guys, <laughs> it's all about the DJI Neo at the moment. But the RCN2, interesting. Um, but has it got a new, now they've got a new controller out, haven't they, which is the RCN3, so maybe, maybe I don't know, I don't want to say that, because to me, I love DJI products, as you can probably see, all these drones are DJI, anyway, be interesting to hear from you guys, if you, if you noticed any difference with your Air 3 since the new update, let me know. Because I can assure you, there's going to be another video coming very soon.